for nine months. Her identity kept under wraps almost immediately after she found out she was pregnant. So why all the secrecy? The father of her baby is the late Broward rapper XXX Tentacion. Genesis Sanchez talks to Local 10 exclusively tonight about their relationship, the new baby's unusual name, and what she'll tell her child about the controversial SoundCloud singer. It is a little strange, especially since I've been so, you know, closed off for a very long time. 20-year-old Genesis Sanchez is enjoying being a new mom, tending to her baby in the Parkland townhouse she's been living in that's owned by XXX Tentacion's mother, Cleopatra Bernard. Cleo posted pictures of the girl's pregnant stomach on Instagram, but kept her identity a secret because of media interest surrounding who the girl was. The rapper found out a few weeks before he was shot and killed that he was having a child. He was murdered on June 18, 2018 in an apparent robbery as he was leaving a motorsports store in Deerfield Beach. He knew two weeks before he passed away. XXX already had names picked out, original names that he made up, one for a boy and one for a girl. And the new word is Gekum. Gekum means different state or next universe of thought. And yes, Jose did pick out this name before he passed away. He also had a name for a girl as well. It was Ziora. What's wrong? It's moving around. <laughs> Um, he took a couple of letters from these different characters from his favorite video game, Kingdom Hearts, and he just mashed it all together. And I know it's kind of hard to say Gekyum if I hear people like Gekyumi, Gek, and I'm like, no, it's Gekyum. But yeah, he, can go, he goes by Yumi as well. Sanchez wasn't even supposed to leave the house for the birth. There was a midwife ready to deliver the baby. The original plan was to have a home birth. Um, and it didn't really work out. Now at this point, we're at 26 hours in labor. And they were like, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to do an emergency C-section. She was rushed to Boca West Hospital with an entourage of people in tow. And then I had a very great support system with me. I had Cleo, I had my mom, and then the whole entourage. <laughs> people probably thought we were insane. We had like seven cars just to pull up to the hospital. <laughs> She and Anfroy had been a couple, she says, since January 2018, but they had known of each other for a few years. She says the two met previously when a mutual friend introduced them at a birthday party. Sanchez moved from Tampa to Parkland in February 2018 to be closer to him. Me and Jose are hermit crabs. We didn't really like to go out and stuff like that. We spent a lot of time at home. We spent a lot of time playing video games. We didn't care to go out, especially even if we went out, people were noticing him. Like, so we even got to a point where we were grocery shopping sometimes at midnight. Sanchez doesn't acknowledge the stories about XXX Tentacion's controversial past. At the time of his death, Anfroy was facing charges of domestic violence from a former girlfriend who said the rapper beat her. After his death, lawyers were able to get the charges dropped. Sanchez, who has a tattoo on her neck inscribed with the rapper's real name, Jose, says she will make sure her baby knows about his father. I'm definitely going to make sure, like, I'm not going to ever lie to him, that's for sure. He's going to know about his dad. He's going to hear about his dad 24-7. I'm going to tell him about all the fond memories that I have with, with his dad, Jose. I'm going to tell him how much he would have loved him. I know sometimes, probably when he gets older, it'll probably affect him more than he is younger. But he's definitely going to know about his father. Baby Yumi was born on January 26th. The reason why we were not allowed to show his face is because the family has sold exclusive rights to those photos to People magazine. Chase Unfroy would have turned 21 years old last month.